Hey guys, I haven't done another post um, about the Creator Sun in a while. I think we're at the three week point after leaving. Um, it's definitely been um, interesting. Um, still, you know, mostly put positive changes to report that my account is growing better. Um, I did, I have noticed some pretty slow growth lately. Um, and like I said, I'm still in that window of TikTok jail where it's like, you know, about uh, two weeks, three weeks a month. Um, and honestly, I told you guys before, but I really feel like, um, especially when I started doing lives and talking about the Creators Fund a lot, I noticed that um, it seemed that my account was targeted a little more than usual. Um, but which also, you know, still couldn't really hide the fact that my engagement was still growing and I was back on people's for you page. I still couldn't hide that fact because people were still reporting it. Um, the views and everything, the counter has gone really like up and down, up and down. Um, it, and it's been really, really turbulent. And I honestly think that because I've been talking about the trend a lot that like, honestly, I do believe that there is somebody behind the scenes manually operating, like manually targeting certain accounts. Um, and so like the, the numbers look very like up and down, but it's not really hiding the overall fact that even if they space out the views over several days, the, the fact still remains that my shit is getting seen way more than it was before. Like, I, it seems like they're really trying to hide that fact. I find it really, really funny. Um, but uh, like I said, I still have pretty positive results. Uh, I told you guys that my engagement had dropped from like 16, 15, 16 um, million views in, a, in 28 days down to like five. Um, in the past few weeks, it's jumped back up to 7 million, which is a pretty big, that's a pretty big change. Like that's a 50% in, that's an almost 50% increase in engagement, 30 to 50% in increase in engagement from where it was before. Um, and it's gone up from about 32 to nearly 50% of the engagement I was getting over the summer. So I'd say that even over three weeks, even though it's been a slow burn, it's still a big improvement. Um, the overall numbers do not lie. Um, uh, so like I said, it, on the surface, it kind of looks like I'm shadow banned when I look at my most recent views, but when I look at my analytics and you know, I look at the trend and even though it's going up and down, I also look at the overall numbers, like the resultant numbers. I'm like, okay, my account is improving though after I drop the creator's fund and that cannot be hidden. Um, they might target certain accounts and like spread the numbers out so that the, the slope doesn't look as dramatic as it might for other creators. Um, Definitely, um, if you are a bigger creator with bigger numbers, you know, your numbers are not going to look as big as someone with a smaller account, obviously. Um, but it's, um, it, it, it just, it really can't hide the fact that overall analytics are looking pretty good, still looking better. Um, like I said, not a lot of people know how to read the analytics. Not a lot of people get pro accounts. Um, and that's, what's going to help you really be able to analyze your account and see how you're doing. Um, and so I recommend, like I said, I recommend that people get a pro account so they can see that. And not a lot of people know exactly how to read the analytics and to read between the lines um, of the numbers. Um, but uh, <clears throat> albeit that like, you know, all things considered, things are still definitely fucking improving um since i left the creators fund and my you know i i still hold true to what i said at the beginning beginning of this it's not worth it um getting paid pennies and sacrificing engagement for like an official check from tiktok is not worth it and there are so many other ways to make money off of your following besides the creators fund especially if it's a way that they um use to um like I said, profit off of people cranking out content, but then not have to pay them and then obviously target and <clears throat> find a way to target people that they don't want to be the face of the app, like creators of color, like black creators, um, 
you know, black creators that talk about serious things. And even though I'm a comedian, I do, you know, talk about some serious things sometimes. And so sometimes I'm not exactly the kind of black person. Sometimes I'm not the kind of black person that they would like to see on that app. So um, I think that's worth, definitely worth thinking about. Um, I, like I said, my statement still stands. Not worth it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Unless you're Charlie D'Amelio, this is not going to help you in any way. Just get off of it. <laughs> um, so I think we're at three weeks. Um, whatever I caption this video is what it is. Um, but like I said, we st I'm still seeing improvement. So let's see. Uh, and my growth rate has been so much better. I was stuck at like 500,000 for months. And I finally got to 600,000 and above. So um, <clears throat> it de definitely some really big, big, big improvements. Um, so let's see what happens over the next few weeks. Um, we will... Um, like I said, we'll, we'll, we, we will see what happens. Um, but I still encourage you to get off of it if you're still on it. So, yeah. All right, then. Um, I'm going to go and record other content, but had to do this diary entry. So, bye.